That was sensational. Get in. Beautiful, beautiful performance. 7-0. Lip went to the last 16. I, I said in my preview, I was never in doubt. I was so confident the thought it would be about 4-1. Um, and, you know, from within 20 minutes, we knew it was game over. To be honest, within five minutes, we knew it was game over. As soon as we go 1-0 up with that penalty, it's game over. And the football we're playing there, I'm sorry, it's just... Stuff I've not seen from a Liverpool side ever, to be honest. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous play. It's even better than the stuff we were playing in 13-14. The goals we're scoring, the, the movement of that front four is just gorgeous. That second Coutinho goal when Firmino spots him and he just arrives and just plays it into the corner. Stunning. Mane's first goal, the volley's gorgeous. There's so much great football. Salah's composure for his goal is magic. There's just a lot of fantastic footballers in that team. Obviously, especially those front four who... We're all faultless tonight. Yes, we're wasteful once or twice, but I mean, we just put seven goals past a team that beat Sevilla 5 1. The, these, yes, it's Spartak, Moscow, we know they're, they're average. They're, they're one of these sides you, you, you want to get in your group because you know you should get at least four or six points off them. Um, we've got four off them, but we, they're, they're not absolute minnows. You know, they're, they're, they're capable of winning domestic titles and they, they've they given Sevilla a good game and they've, they've done it right in this group. We've just hit them for seven and. I feel like we can do this to almost anyone. Like, you know, we've done it to Maribor, um, done it to Brighton. We've, we've, we're scoring so many goals. We've even done it to Arsenal earlier on this season. I feel like we can do this to so many sides that turn up at Anfield and even on the road. We're just scoring some sumptuous goals. As soon as you give Salah space or you give Coutinho space or, or you let Firmino get away from you or, or Mane's in on goal, you're just in so much trouble. There's not many teams in Europe that have a better front line than us. I'd, I'd say Man City are kind of ruining everyone's perspective of how good this Liverpool front four is, because theirs is probably even better. Um, PSG have got a special you know, attack. Other than that, obviously your Madrid, your Barca, your Bayerns are all, all superb, but they're just... I wouldn't swap Atletico Madrid's front four for ours, put it that way. I, there's so many teams who I just would not swap their front four for ours, or, or even their front three. It's just... We're watching some really special stuff at the moment. Uh, and as I say, it's such a shame that Man City are doing what they're doing, which is incredible. Um, but it, obviously it rules out our title chances and sort of puts us under the radar in terms of what this attack is capable of doing. I think we can score, you know, 80 or 90 goals in the Premier League easily this season. Then we've got 100 in the Rodgers uh, in the 13-14 season. I think something close to that might be possible. Uh, obviously we've still got a couple issues at the back, but I thought we were great defensively as well tonight. I thought Gomez again... Joe Gomez is just so, so good. He is just so composed. His reading of the game is just ridiculous for such a young lad. For a lad that's not been... I think he's only made 50 senior appearances. And he's just playing out of this world at the moment. Uh, Lovren was good tonight. Clavin was fine. Um, obviously a shame to lose Moreno to that injury. Uh, you can see what it meant to him. Is he was in tears as he went off, which is you know, never nice to see. But Milner came on and got like three assists. So, oh, we were just brilliant. Let's go through player ratings. Um, Carius... Has no saves to make, but he, he comes out for some reason in the first half and tries to clear everyone out and gets cleared out himself. Um, you know, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Uh, true. Okay, I'll go Gomez. Uh, 9, why not? Um, Lovren and Clavin, 8 each. They were absolutely fine. Moreno, an 8 before he went off. Uh, Chan gets booked early on, but he, he's got pretty much control over the game from then on. I'll give him an 8 as well. If I now to 8, why not? And everyone else, Coutinho, Mane, Salah and Firmino are going to get 10 each. I don't even want to fold them all. They weren't perfect. Mane plays that chance over in the first half. But um, Coutinho in particular, I mean, he should get 11 really. But, I mean, we are, with Philip Coutinho, we're honestly watching one of Liverpool's greatest ever players. Um, I think in terms of talent, he might literally be in the top 10 best ever players we've ever seen in this club. That performance was absolutely marvellous. He can do things on the ball that no one else can do. Um, some things that Suarez couldn't do. He, he is in that calibre. He will probably leave the Barcelona in the summer. And it's cannot be understated how huge a loss he'll be when he does eventually go, whether it is this summer coming or the following. And the fact that we probably won't win a title with Coutinho is a huge shame. He's the sort of player that will fire you to a title. That's the sort of thing he would have probably done this year had City not been so far ahead. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Because losing him, you know, we might get 80 or 120 million, but can that really buy you? anything like the class he's got it, it, he is a frightening player three goals tonight and that wasn't even those three goals weren't even his best work tonight it was a penalty a deflected goal and, and the, the one in between that which was which was a nice finish but his passing his awareness his little flicks his, the way he dribbles out of trouble is just 
Oh, happy purring. The whole performance happy purring. We are going to go far in this competition. I'm confident of that. I know we're not perfect defensively. I know we we completely crumbled in Seville, but we're going to score as many goals as we can past anyone at Anfield that wants to turn up and try and play against us. We are that good. You get, you'd have to be a real good defensive unit like Chelsea were at Anfield a few weeks ago. But even then, we, we rested Mane and Firmino, so you're going to have to be really, really defensively sound if you want to try and come to Anfield, play against Mane, Coutinho, Firmino and Salah and get out of there with anything less than a defeat. Um, because I think we're capable of beating absolutely anyone at, at our home ground. And as far as the way grounds are concerned, this is a young side. We're not necessarily used to difficult circumstances, difficult places to go. You, you know, your Munich, your, your Paris's, your, your Madrid's and what have you. They obviously, they obviously boast far superior squads to us and they'll obviously be huge favourites if they play against us. Um, but they'll, they'll be fully aware of the threat, the threat we pose with, with, with the pace on the flanks. With Firmino, who, I mean, it was just the perfect striker's performance from him tonight. Again, besides the goal, he was just sensational. His link-up play, oh, that guy is absolute master at work. I've got nothing negative to say, which is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm very confident going into Sunday. Uh, it's not going to be easy. Everton, obviously, uh, they've got a new manager, a bit rejuvenated. They're starting to win some games. They're doing well. Sigurdsson's among the goals. Uh, Rooney played well uh, last week. So... Far from easy, they'll be up for it, but it's Anfield, it's Liverpool, an almost fully fit squad. Obviously, we lose Moreno, who, you know, if we lose him, Robertson comes in. I think that he's perfectly capable of filling those boots. He might even be slightly better, I don't know. But all I can be right now is positive, and I'm, I can't wait for the derby. Um, leave a comment with your sort of man of the match, your, your player ratings, your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on who you want to get in the last 16. I'm annoyed the draw's not till Monday, I just want to find out who we're going to get right away. Um, but do let me know your thoughts, and please subscribe if you're new, and follow my other socials too, as Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Up the Reds. See you next time.